What is going? What's going, everybody? We back at the again, man. Some art, tight feet. Last episode, what happened? Oh yeah, Trunks pulled up. Man, he hit us with a. This man hit us with a crazy ass cliffhanger last episode, man. Holy, I think he beat a. What god is fucking that was? Oh yeah, uh, a rock, the ugly ass motherfucker. Charles play for the angel and like, like. It was child's play, man. Like he beat the ass, bro. It wasn't even a fight, bro. At this state, at this point in time, like it's it's just it's just rebozos at this point. Oh god. Whoever disliked it, y'all just some bitch ass niggas. Oh god. We ain't gonna talk about y'all like that. You know, we ain't, we ain't gonna worry about y'all. But uh, yeah, Trunks pulled up. I wonder how that's gonna play out. You know what I mean? But then that, like, he's on the mission at this point. Like, he needs the energy of the top five strongest in the multiverse at this point. Because everybody else is just fodder. You know what I'm saying? Until we get to, get, until we get to the Grand Priest and Zeno, everybody else is fodder, bro. And when, and when we get to that point in time, holy. Now, granted, we still got the boys in the back pocket, bro. We still got Gogeta. Then we still got Jiren in the back pocket, bro. And maybe the Universe 6 Saints maybe we'll see only time will tell but uh yeah if you that with a like comment down below subscribe hit that bell all that good jazz almost the 500 subs like that for the end of the year type beat but uh yeah what i do let's dive on in and see what about to happen this crazy episode of ultra vegeto so our story continues with the mysterious future trunks standing yeah. in the distance staring at vegeto dressed mm -hmm. in a large dark coat with his signature sword draped around his chest. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> that is Trunks! My son! Looking from far away though, eventually even Vegito is able to make out the silhouette, despite the distance, using his fatherly instinct to immediately recognize the visual features and signature purple hair. Yep. Now looking awestruck, the God Killer would remain silent momentarily. Stunned without much to say, before muttering, If this isn't an illusion, how did he survive the gods of destruction? Did Bulma somehow send him off just as they attacked? I wouldn't put it past hmm. the old girl. But while Vegeta wonders how Trunks is here, the swordsman begins looking around with a sign of caution. Disappointed mm -hmm. as he thinks, Damn it. I came just a few minutes too late. Looks like he's killed the god and angel of this universe already. Uh -oh. There's not a sign or trace of them left, so Kronoa's warning must be true. Oh, this is this of Vegito can erase someone completely from existence. Oh, this, okay, this guy's in on Trunks. The time patrol. I got to him before he I gotta play the universe, man. I play the universe in a minute. Oh, he's crying. In complete contrast, as Trunks thinks on the destruction, I mean, Vegito has I guess you, you can't cry, the but killer cannot help but begin shedding tears. I mean, granted, even if it's Zeno Trunks, he's still not about to beat Vegito. In over a decade, someone he thought he lost, as he begins walking over to him and continuing, "My son, I can't believe it. I knew it. I just knew I couldn't be alone." There had to be someone who survived. I'm so mm. glad it was you. I haven't seen you in so long. You look so grown. Uh oh. Get back and stay where you are, Vegito. But uh. instantly, on the evil Vegito's second step forward, with extreme speed and precision, Trunks pulls out his sword and holds he, it in he, front of him, ready pull to up attack the blick. at any moment. <gasps> Leaving Vegeta to not only stop in his tracks, okay, like, bro, I'm but about to, to be attack taken aback by the sudden hostility by who he believed was once his young son. As with a confused face, he asks, Get back! Since when did you start addressing me like that, Trunks? Don't you know who I am? It's me, your father! But Trunks, continuing to stare down the God Killer without emotion, would then finally mm. reveal... Listen, Vegito. I am Trunks, but I'm not your son. I'm from a completely different timeline. 
one where I had my own father and mother. But I was sent to fix all the problems you've caused and to put an end to your complete disregard for the timeline. <sighs> I'm from the Time Patrol. Yeah. What? Time Patrol? Causing Vegito to react in bemusement. Yeah. Never having heard of such a thing before and also partially confused as to what Trunks even meant by his disregard for the timelines. Mm. But soon, Trunks who is unfaltering just then explains, you really have no idea about the kind of damage you've been causing, do you? I haven't seen such recklessness like this since the androids. I thought I took some risks in the past, but you, you've been using those forbidden time rings to travel through time Countless times. We don't even know for sure how many timelines you've affected by now. A lot. Each time you've thought nothing of your actions or how they would affect the future of those universes. You went to Jerome, destroying the androids, thinking you did the world a favor. But in the end, once you left, Jerome used the data and DNA gained from you to create a cell so strong. Every Z fighter died as a result. Mm. Their universe only survived because Goku woke up and trained to become as powerful as a god himself. If you had killed Beerus there too, and I can only shudder at the thought of what would have ended up happening. You even took Goku Senzu beans too, just before the Cell games. <laughs> Cell was never given one after fighting Goku leaving an easy win for Gohan, where he didn't even become a Super Saiyan 2. Mm. Changes like that have rippling effects, and now that universe has no knowledge of the second form. And they may struggle extra hard now, once Babri, Dabura and Boo arrive years later. Mm. And now, only a few hours ago, you killed one of the legendary five. With that done, you powered up in an explosion of strength, not even realizing you killed them niggas. Away with the rest of the Z fighters, including the Supreme Kai. So, not even goodbye, Beerus. They're still alive. Without them, that means the end of Earth and that universe as they know it. <sighs> I did all of it. Shell shock to the God Killer. As he for the first time, hears of what his deeds in the past and future had done to all those involved, once he had left. Mm. I... I did that? The people of Earth, they died in these timelines because of me? <laughs> Causing a slightly annoyed at his ignorance trunks to mm. say back, Yes, time is not something to mess with so frivolously. The natural order of life, the order of an entire universe, can be disrupted by a single change in time. I made that mistake once and paid for it in the end. The arrival of Black and the erasure of my entire universe by Zeno. That was indirectly all because of how I interfered with time. And what you've done is take that to a whole new level and multiple times and we cannot stand for it anymore uh -oh. you need to learn whatever must happen in a timeline has to be left to run its natural course at all costs <gasps> natural course at all costs causing vegeta mm. to suddenly have something snap from within after hearing a certain line of thinking he just could not agree. Mm. Until finally, uh -oh. his face returns back to Sirius. Uh -oh. He looks to his son in the eye and continues, Time must be allowed to run its natural course, huh? So you're saying the warriors of Earth, Krillin, Yamcha, Piccolo, your rogue father, they should have all died to the androids then. So you should have never traveled to the past and got help. According to you, you should have stayed and died. And you're even saying then, when the 12 Gods of Destruction eventually arrived to erase everyone, 
I should be letting that happen in every timeline, huh? Mm. Which the cold, emotionless trunks would simply just reply, Yes, exactly that. Ooh. Ooh. Suddenly enraging the god killer as he unceremoniously powers up in his base, extending his hand out, yelling out, Unforgivable trunks! If stopping the deaths and erasure of my friends and family is considered wrong, then I don't want to be right. Stand in my way if you want to, Trunks. But if you're not my real son, as you say, then don't expect me to hold back. Mm. Blade, come to me. Of destruction. He'll even summoning uh -oh. the Blade of Destruction once again. But just as he does so, a hand appears to grab onto the handle. Uh. <gasps> Alarming Vegito as he quickly turns his head in panic thinking, What? Why isn't that thing responding to my commands? And standing there shockingly is revealed to be an older Goatek. Zeno Goatek? Oh. Stopping it from moving any further. Okay. As the young Saiyan then says, this isn't going anywhere, Dad. Mm. <gasps> who the? But Vegito, who couldn't hear what Goten had said under his muttered breath, can only wonder. Who are you? Is that a Saiyan? Of course, never having seen Goten grow up in his timeline. <gasps> Wait! This key! Are you? But eventually things Delta. begin to click for the few Saiyan, as his face oh, opens shit. wide and shot, he begins to realize, Are you Goten? You can't be! <laughs> but Goten, who doesn't share mm. the same confusion, then adamantly replies, I'm surprised you even noticed, Vegito. Yeah, I am Goten, Dad. But just like Trunks, I'm from the Time Patrol, and from another mm. timeline. I still see you as being part Goku, but this sword does not belong to you. You know it. This sword, those time rings, you yourself need to come back with us. This madness, it all needs to end here. I don't know about all that, fam. The confirmation that the figure being Goten, along with the rest of what he said, leaves Vegito near flabbergasted. As he steps back and says, Whoa, this is all a lot. You look so different. You grew up a lot, Goten. But you're part of this group too, huh? So you're telling me they sent my own two sons, my own blood, to forcefully fight and take me in? Did the sick freak who thought of that plan think that would be the way to stop me? Who the hell even runs this little gang of yours? I think mm. I need to pay them a little visit. Uh oh. To which on hearing this, Trunks would then quickly just answer, that would be Cronoa, goddess of time. She mm. leads the time patrol and chooses who goes on missions to stop and fix time disturbance. Yo, are we gonna see Zeno, Goku, and Vegeta Goku in this bitch? Hold on. You, not because of how we're related to Vegito, but because the two of us have grown to become two of the strongest. <gasps> uh, god! Uh -oh. But the mention you of like, Bruno, you don't like that word. the leader of the Time Patrol being a god, immediately sets something off within Vegito. As he continues, So it was them. It was a god that sent you. My own sons. Slaves to these tyrants. Supporting them. Uh. After what you know, what these gods did to us all. But Goten, not agreeing, would interrupt. No, dad. Not all gods are the same. The ones who destroyed your earth were gods of destruction. Noah is not like that. She would never. They don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. Could give two fucks. Uh oh. Another word more 
Vegito unleashes a thunderous roar as his power uncontrollably bursts from his body. Uh oh. Y'all say you're the too strong, your son. Y'all better put put them hands up. The landscape of the planet begins to crumble. He, he, he gonna test that theory. Watching on in shock as the unexpected increase in power. Now see, now nah, they said that shit. Maybe, maybe we won't see Zeno, Goku, and Vegeta probably, or they Gohan. Both of the teenage Saiyans covering themselves from the force of the strong winds. Then again, we still might. Debris that strikes onto their face and body. His power now reached its climax, and surrounded by a vicious white aura, Vegito lifts up his right fist in anger and yells, I don't want to hear any more about this so-called different god. Mm. You children will not be lecturing your father on anything, mm. especially not on who these gods really are. Ooh. These gods are all a danger to us. Ticking time bombs with far too much power. You can trust in me when I say the entire multiverse will be better without any of their kind. If you choose to side with them over your own, then you traitors will join them in death. Traitors! <laughs> the time patrol trunks so, they gonna fuse. just looks on nervously and thinks, damn it. New talking wouldn't be his strong point. His same pride is still there. He's got father in him, right? As behind the half Saiyan, <laughs> an image of Vegeta appears. While similarly, perhaps a more panicked and shocked Goten would then think, Wow, this energy, it's dark. He sounds a lot more like Vegeta than Goku ever did. Damn. <laughs> Even really in there, as in a memorial image mm. of his own father, Son Goku appears behind him. And then suddenly, the teen trunks would then appear right beside a surprised Goten, saying, It's time, Goten. Let's do it. Yep. <laughs> and instantly, as if they had planned this out, not gonna be enough. It's not gonna other, be enough. The two would silently look back at one another and nod <sighs> until. Like I know in, in, in uh, what's my call it? In heroes and whatnot. Trunks is kind of become a Super Saiyan God, which is cool. But it's not enough. I don't think it was enough, man. Uh, I got, I got Dragon Ball Hero soon on PC. I got on Steam. I ain't played in a minute though. Crunching his knuckles and of a smirk that only reminds us of his counterpart Vegeta. As he continues, now we'll see who listen to who here, Dad. <laughs> so, are you going to come back with us peacefully, or I mean you? I forgot to make a cocky as fuck. Oh Lord! I don't think I've had a chance to fight either of you as Gotenks before. I wonder who's the stronger fusion. Please stop. <gasps> don't embarrass yourself. Gotenks. But Vegito at first, Don't embarrass yourself, the sudden change, can't help but remain shocked. Stuttering as he inquires, Is that really you? Your clothes, they're totally different. You remind me of Gogeta. <laughs> but the look of surprise soon then reverts back uh, to one of eagerness. Uh, as his sane battle lost, he wants to beat his ass. Through, and he lets out, you know that fusion may have been a cool little trick to use against Margin Boo. But do you really believe that you're going to be able to do anything against me? Time patrol or not, mm. you two are still just kids compared to me. What on earth do you think will stop me? <laughs> Facts, like... Which Goten's answers first by grabbing onto the Blade of Destruction beside him. And saying, Well, first off, I'm going to upgrade my sword to a whole lot more powerful one if you don't mind. Before I take it back to Cronoa, I just can't resist a few swipes. Yeah. Pulling it out from the ground with ease, whispering, There you go. I 
can already sense the quality of its edge just wielding it. Before a more vicious look then oh. appears on his face as he stares straight at oh. Vegito and lets out. And then I'm going to bow to my new form. A form our dear older brother taught us. Final? <gasps> Beast? Leaving Vegito confused momentarily as he wonders. A form from your older brother? From Gohan? I guess you mean his ultimate form. That made him as about as strong as a Super Saiyan Blue. So if two of you, it'll just be two Blues. <laughs> Hardly anything to be worried about. Don't you at least know Ultra? <laughs> Ultra? But before that sentence could even complete, like Father Gotenks like Beast? Beast Gotenks? Why you can come up with better names for that shit, bro? As his muscles bulge and veins begin to protrude from all corners of his face. From a distance, Gotenks' key begins to warp even the one Vegito showed. As almost instantly, mm. the sky changes to dark clouds with thunder and lightning striking everywhere. As in a familiar scene, so too does lava begin to explode from all the surrounding mountains. The very core of the planet was becoming unstable. <gasps> this feeling, uh, mm. but the familiarity doesn't so go still us in the force. As Vegito looks on of a stumped look, reminding him, him of a uh, of Kaba. Lightning, this power. I've seen this before. Is this? Mm. Vegito contemplates, the transformation of Gotenks continues as his chest then tightens, his fists clench, and his hair turns a mysterious shade of white while growing out intensely. <sighs> and just like that, uh. Gotenks reveals himself finally in his beast form. Surrounded in blood red lightning and a mysterious transparent aura. That begins yeah. to the blade of destruction too, as he then lets out, This is no ultimate form, father. This is elder brother Gohan's strongest form. One he learned from his master, Piccolo. He calls it the Beast Form. Mm. And I assure you, this will not be an easy fight for you. Especially with the first of the five's weapon in my hands. If you want to give up and meet Kronoa, just tell me now, and this all ends without bloodshed. Bruh, he boxed. He won't all smoke. My own dad. What? Beast form? But Vegito still just <clears throat> can't help but be totally amazed by Gotenks' appearance, and how similar it is to a certain saying he fought previously. As he thinks, this thing is something Gohan achieved in the future with the green man of all people. <laughs> but how? Kappa called this same form his final form. Are they one in the same? Regardless, these two are on a totally new level to him. Way stronger and way more experienced, even individually. But now fused, mm. they could actually do something here. <laughs> but Gotenks, now let's ego see. ready to finish Let's see, let's see how that was play out, bro. Let's see. Fusion time limit, just lifts his sword straight towards Vegito and commands Vegito Universe 7, timeline number 56378B. The time patrol orders your arrest. For the grievous tampering Nigga. of the order of time. That's a lot of timelines. Holy shit. Usage of time distorting devices. Do you comply? Or do we need to use force? Force. <laughs> but on hearing this final threat, Vegito's true self then It was just over. procedure. We already know what the fuck about to happen. He know what the fuck about to happen. Seems you two punks are due for a spanking now, aren't you? <laughs> Acting up. 
for your mother while your father's been away, huh? Well, do your worst, children, because you will not be telling me what to do. Just Here we go. Thought, which instantly sets in motion the battle-thrilled Gotenx as he rushes in at full speed with his sword drawn, straight aiming for Vegito the God Killer. And almost immediately, with a breathtaking show of speed, Gotenks mm. in his beast form breaks the distance and appears right in front of Vegito, with his sword inches from his face. <laughs> but seeing this, perhaps as expected, Vegito is shown not caring in the slightest. As he didn't even transform. He didn't even transform. <laughs> Really? Trying to fight me with a sword when I'm unarmed? That's how you choose to fight? Guess without a father figure, you do forgot how to be Saiyan. Mm. Good thing I came prepared for trash like you. The scythe? Oh. As instantly in response, Vegito oh. summons the Zamasu Halo immediately on his back while also in his right hand bringing out his infamous God Slayer side. From black, right in front of the stunned into confusion Goten. <clears throat> but if you were expecting a sword clash, you'd be disappointed as straight after Goten vanishes as if prepared for this very situation. <clears throat> Before Goten quickly reappears then, Straight right behind the God Killer, with his sword pulled back, ready to swing from his blind spot until. We. Of course. Bro, he's, he's still in base, y'all. He's still in base. Ducks right under, his face unchanging as he looks at his son's attempt and comments. <laughs> what a predictable attack! Did you really think you had me with such a basic move? <laughs> But once again, not falling for Vegito's goads, Gotenx doesn't say a word and instead disappears with speed once again. This time reappearing far off in the distance, much to the surprise of Vegito, who comments, What the? Now you're definitely showing me you've forgotten your Saiyan heritage. Running away already? Come here and fight me, kid. He doing something, I feel like. He planning something. Stands, he continues to remain hushed, focusing only on his target and seemingly trying to not give away his next move. Yeah, he got a plan. He's doing something. <laughs> Vegito watching on, though, just finds the charades from his son laughable as he says, What's this now? The silent treatment? I guess with no father figure in your lives. You two started to take a whole lot more after your mothers. Now, pathetic. Show me your thoughts through battle like a man. To which the beast go tanks with well, his like, right. chair would then lift his sword into the air and coldly say back, "Well, if that's what you really want, Dad, then here you go." Yeah! As instantly the young the Shasha Shasha. Saiyan then swipes his blade in true trunks fashion and speed rapidly in all directions. Immediately sending from the blade of destruction slashes of energy that skid across the ground and glide through the air with ridiculous force and speed towards a standing still Vegito. <laughs> But soon the reason for the motionless state of the God Killer is seen firsthand, as an unimpressed Vegito lets out. How pathetic! Those blade movements are wasted on that sword. You're a shell of that blade's true master. And Guts mm. would be disgusted right now, I'm sure. Allow me to end this defilement of his keepsake here and now. Well. <sighs> Leading to Vegito quickly swiping his God Slayer Scythe back. Before swiping it back into place as if ready to pounce. Staying quiet until... <laughs> it's time I showed you brats 
how to really wield a weapon. <laughs> and just like that, Ultra Vegito Bro, what was that God sound he did just now, bro? That shit was hard. With each of Gotenks's that sound design was hard. Now, ironically, slashed in half themselves before any could even touch the God Killer. <laughs> And of course, after dismantling the young Saiyans, Yo, he's still in base form. Nothing but a raucous smile. He's still in base. Face he is still in base. As he says, You see? See how pointless it is to try and defeat me, brats? And no less with a weapon you have no right using. At least, I defeated its user. But you have yet to. <gasps> Oh. But soon into Vegito's monologue and lecture to his sons, a look of pure puzzlement comes over his face. As when he looks into the distance, he soon realizes Gotenks is nowhere to be seen yet again. A sigh of annoyance then comes mm. over the God Killer as he looks from side to side and comments, <laughs> This again? What's with all the vanishing tricks? That's what they do, like fam. That's what they do, man. Care if you two aren't my real sons. My blood still runs through your veins. And as he continues to stand still, like they tricked us, man. That's why that's what. You're only always been wasting like your own time. Just tricked their sayings. That fusion of yours only lasts thirty minutes max, and it's probably shortened by whatever that beast form of yours is too. Fight me now. True. Once you defuse. Things will not end well. But as Vegito threatens the two, underneath, unbeknownst to him, the ground begins to slightly crack. <laughs> Eventually being noticed by Vegito until... What? Suddenly the entire ground beneath the Fusain begins to break completely apart, to the point Vegito begins to lose his footing. As he yells out, Wait! Don't tell me, are you two? Yeah! Two, top of Naruto? Okay. Leading to the beast cortex exploding from the ground, his sword raised straight up, attempting to slice Vegito vertically in half. Uh, you son of a. <laughs> With the God Killer only being able to just at the last second move his body from complete damage. Huh. As the emotionless Gotenks staring on just thinks, Damn it, I almost got him. Y'all not understand. The of his body the Poor Gotenks. Ground. Like, nigga, he's still in base. And rapidly in a show of retreat, despite seemingly not being injured at all, Vegito flips back multiple times to land a short distance away. Before the God Killer then remains with his head bowed in an ominous silence, uh -oh. waiting to reveal something. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all, punk. And with a short <laughs> outburst of annoyance, Vegito slowly begins to rise to his feet without a hint of tremble. Yeah! Oh, they graze him. Until finally, in a shocking sight, the God Killer is shown truly wounded, with a large open gash on his forehead, leaking blood into his one remaining white eye. As he mm. grumbles, <laughs> Maybe I did underestimate you two. You managed to catch me off guard, even with the power I have now. That is definitely quite something. But I'm afraid that all ends now. Yeah. While a partially pleased with like, himself, bro. Gotenks stabs his sword into the ground for stability in comments. So, I did get him. The great Vegito does bleed. Oh, that nigga been bleeding this whole series. What's talking about? a lot. I haven't got much time left, but I think I can do this. <laughs> Think again, kid. That is fucking disturbing. That is disturbing. Look at that shit. Oh my god. Shockingly, the margin view aspect of Vegito begins to do its work. 
stands in a monstrous scene. The open wound of Vegito slowly begins sealing itself until eventually being completely healed. What? Leaving Gojek's yeah. finally now with a mixture of disgust. Poor little bass was now for the chance to begin with, man. As he witnesses <laughs> the inhuman change in his father. As he just mutters, What did he just do? His skin, it moved by itself to heal. That's not right. Is that really dad? <laughs> but fueled by rage now, that all his efforts are seemingly going nowhere. The beast go yeah. tanks begins powering up once more. To as far as its limits can allow him, as he screams, I'm not letting you get away with this! I'm you don't have a choice! Now. You don't have a choice! But Vegito, watching on without any hesitation, would just stare intimidatingly and reply, Finish what exactly? You do understand this has barely even begun, right? Yet you will be diffusing any minute now. Like for real. The angered Gotenks will just crumble back. All I need is one more minute to take you back anyway. Uh oh. Really? Really? How about now? Back, now he transforms. Suddenly. Vegito then turns into his Super Saiyan 1 form, completely changing the landscape of the battle. That's what I'm saying, bro. He was in base the whole time. Of his true power. Like, bro, you still have no chance. Super Saiyan 1? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. You really are underestimating me, aren't you? Well, that's no problem because. <gasps> But bruh, as yells, it's not underestimating, bro. It's just facts. You're not doing shit. Sight <laughs> bro, these postal shots nigga be doing, bro. Holy. Look, appears, he got fangs right and shit. Gotenks, <laughs> looking up as he says, Quit with the big talk, kid. Facts. You need to actually be strong to back those words up. Facts. Uh, angry the younger saying to push through with his swing, but... Will he actually kill his own sons? <coughs> right, this third. Before any kind of attack can even be completed by Gotenks, with intense speed and power, Vegito launches his fist straight into the gut of his son. Right in the start of him to instantly let I go didn't know it was a chance to begin time. with. <laughs> Damn, back and to base. As if having the energy zapped straight out of him, Gotenks reverts back to his base form. Stunned in the face and unable to say a thing. Mm. While Vegito just callously and just as quickly grabs onto the dropped blade of destruction. I was taking this back. Even touches the and with what seems like the last bit of his strength, Gotenks mutters with one eye open. Uh, how? How are you this strong as just a Super Saiyan? <sighs> Before Gotenks Damn. can't help but grab onto his stomach in pain and then fall to his knees before his father. Vegito, mm. looking down though, would then coldly explain <laughs> Becoming a Super Saiyan increases my base power by 50 times Facts. You really think I needed all of that just to beat you? I've hardly used even 1% of it I told you, you're still a kid in my eyes Time patrol or not <laughs> Before mm. instantly, Vegito then swings the Blade of Destruction down with force straight towards Gotenks. You see about to do it. In a cold and silent murder of his own son. <sighs> but when we actually see, Vegito stops the blade just centimeters away from the time. Boy, sweating neck, bullets, bro. Holy. Leaving Gotenks to just stare in the face of death with a nervous and sweaty look. 
Vegito, looking down, would also show his last ounce of mercy and then let out, Listen, punk, I get you have a job to do, but I'm on a mission here, and I haven't got the time or patience here to be dealing with your little gang interrupting me every five seconds. Mm. You two have made it clear you aren't my sons, if I remember correctly. So answer mm. wisely to my next question, as it will decide whether you live or die. Oh, God. Will you stop chasing after me if I let you go here? You clearly are no match for me, even while fused, and never will be. So why mm. not value your lives and stop with this ridiculous pipe dream of ever stopping me? But in true sane fashion, perhaps taking after his own father, Gotenks just smiles and replies, Ha! You must have forgot who our dads are. Goku and Vegeta. You'd think they'd ever give up? I have a duty to protect the multiverse from people like you. No matter how many times it takes, I'll keep coming for you. So if you want to stop me, you better kill me. <laughs> Will he actually? Like real Saiyan. Oh fuck! Is he about to kill us? Oh shit! Insolent little brat! Immediately bringing a face of annoyance and anger to Vegeta's face, as he uh... finally then says. Fine, I tried reasoning with you, but your fate is sealed now. Uh, uh. Yeah! And fuck? suddenly, out of nowhere, using his free hand, Vegito blasts a strange pink beam from his fingertip that immediately strikes Gotex, surrounding mm -hmm. him in a peculiar pink electrical aura until. In a move of air, Gotenks is suddenly then transformed to a lone chocolate bar on the ground. With Vegito having, of course, no. Used Are you about to eat this nigga, bro? Boo to do so. Is he about to eat his ass? <laughs> and having regrettably done so, Vegito would look solemnly down at his now inanimate foe and just let out, I don't care what you say. You two are my sons, in this timeline and the next. I can't mm. kill you, but if you won't stop misbehaving, then you will just have to return to where you belong and become part of me once again. Oh. <sighs> Stabbing his sword into oh. the ground to oh. sheave it, before oh. beginning to then reach out oh. his hand towards the chocolate bar. I wonder if he'll he get like a, so. a, 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 a beast horn out with this. Let's see if you taste better than you find. Mm. Eventually inching closer and closer to the point of just being nanoseconds away until... <laughs> Suddenly, a mysterious foreign foot slams down onto the chocolate bar. Who the fuck did that? Shattering it into pieces. Before Mecca. Vegito. Why? What? Leaving the god killer in a moment of complete shock to stare up the leg of the assailant and meet his eyes with someone he and the rest of us had never seen before. And shockingly standing there before Vegito bro, you have to do that, bro. is yet another strange masked man. Oh. More sadistic and evil looking than Guts ever did, clad in what seems like samurai armor, mm. long flowing silver hair. Suffer, Staring with an emotionless creepy mask on, oh, the no. figure would then let out. Well, what the fuck? My, my god killer, were you truly about to eat your own son? You're as abhorrent as the priest said. Nigga, you just no killed my son. Called me. Allow me to introduce myself as Madara, the second of the five strongest. Madara, fail. Another one. Another one. Leaving Vegeta gobsmacked as his aim of meeting yet another of the five had finally come true. Yo, it's Madara. They're playing, they're playing Naruto songs, bro. The soundtrack, it's Naruto. Ah! 
Guts. First Guts, not moderate? Hold on. But that was it for today. Are we gonna see a Susa now? If you made it this far, leave me Manga, kill Shadow Gun. Five strongest in the comments down below. If you need to see how Vegito fares against Oof. the second of the five. Oof. 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 Uh, I wonder if we can get like a, a, a rage boost because he just killed his sons. You know what I mean? Damn it. And now we will never know now. You know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll be part of the squad. You know what I'm saying? Majin Buu, Vegeta, Goku, and Goku Black. You know what I'm saying? Be part of the squad. But now we got Goten and Trunks in that bitch, man. <sighs> yeah. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> now we got Mother in this. Oh, we got Mother in this bitch, bro. Yeah, he started playing with some a not so soundtrack a bit, man. Yeah, but uh, we might see a Susano, man. We might see a matter of fact, we're still a Susano battle actually because uh, all Swifting could do that shit too, you know what I'm saying? All Swifting goes got, 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 got a Susano now, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, god damn it. Ah, I want to see more. Ah, but I can wait. I got, I already got a lot of shit to. Fucking watch and react to and put on the channel, so I can wait. <laughs> but uh, I thank y'all for watching, man. Ours never misses, man. Hit the video, like, man. Comment below, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good jazz. You guys can support the channel, so support me. Cash have in the description, Twitch, and also the game channel, also in the description. He never misses. But yeah, these go tanks never set a chance to begin with, bro. Yep. Stronger than Kaba. But still, no one's to the chance. The nigga was in base for the whole fight. <laughs> Lord, I'm really saying this one's and this one's super saying. And barely even tried. This one percent. Ugh, like, bro, the power gathers. This, this nigga is insane now. Vegito is insane now. And if, if he was to absorb goats in the trunks too, man, we'll fight him. Bro. Bro. If you. That nigga that had, what, five scenes in this, in, inside of him, bro? Five, uh, Lord, him. Oh, wow, now I wonder if Gohan's gonna pull up now. Or Xeno Goku, you know what I mean? Or and Vegeta. I wonder. They might. They might. Nah, nah, nah. nah. They might get a nigga. I want for his money. Then again, maybe not. I don't know. If he, after he absorbed this nigga, you know what I'm saying? If he can, we'll see. But anyway, love you guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Crazy. Thank <laughs> you.